All right, Brett Holmes gets a lot of credit for his draft classes, but what about the people that he's let go, let walk, or traded? Prior to Detroit, uh, article that or website that we really enjoy put out a great article about players, notable players that have left for other teams and how they're doing this season. And since we're kind of close to the end of the season and a full body of work, it's kind of interesting to look at. So DeAndre Swift, oh man, this one pains me because I loved when we traded him. I would have traded him for nothing just to get rid of him, just to kind of get rid of the old kind of the Matt Patricia picks or just that old regime of, of players, but uh, got to hand it to him. He's having a good year. Now the last few weeks, he's, he's really slowed down, but the fact that the guy's healthy is something I never thought um, he would be. So basically just the fact that he's healthy is proved me wrong. I just didn't think he could ever stay healthy. So you can see it. He was averaging five yards a carry in games one through seven. And these last seven games, he's averaging four yards a carry. So a dip in his production, but overall he's just stayed healthy. So that's, that's just really positive. Here's a really good one. Jamal Williams. This was one where we let him walk. We end up going to get another running back. And this is just really good work by, by Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell, because Jamal Williams was a huge part of the rebuild, the turnaround, just, the, just, you know what he was all about, right? All of his, uh, how we, how vocal he was, leader, all those things. And to be on a bad team, you'd have the positive attitude and all the th stuff that he did. But at the same time, he's an average back. And we know that he's got the record, Detroit Lions record for touchdowns in a season. But you got to look past that. You just got to look at he is an average back. And he was playing behind an incredible offensive line. And he's just not a guy that's going to make you miss. He doesn't have incredible speed. He's not super great out of the backfield. Like you name all the things. And so it's really showing up this year with the Saints. He is, he's never had more than 50 yards rushing in a game for the Saints. And up to the past couple of weeks, 19 rushes in the past two games. And he has been typically touching the ball five or fewer times a game. So he's just coming in on spot stuff just to, to get uh, Kamara out of there. So, the David Montgomery move and letting Williams walk was huge. I mean, that's the type of stuff you got to do because it could have been easy. You know what? Fans love Jamal. We've loved him all that, but no, David Montgomery is definitely better. DJ shark. Remember we, we don't sign him. He comes here for a year, does what we need, but it's just like, ah, man. So he's eclipsed 50 yards receiving just twice this season. So, Chark, another one that because of injuries just hasn't really been able to be super productive. So he's just an average dude. I mean, love the guy, but it was good that we didn't bring him back because you look at our wide receiver room now, we're we're sitting really good. Evan Brown, remember this was a tough one for us. We lose him, and then the Lions are likely happy with their decision to sign Graham Glasgow to replace him because he has a 54 run blocking grade. Graham Glasgow, 76, and Evan Brown just felt like a massive loss at the time. Just like, man, that's our center guard, guard combination guy, reserve. He's still a good reserve, but he's just not a good starting level guard center where Graham Glasgow is shown to be. So it's like huge. Josh Woods. What up, Josh Woods? He was a solid special teamer, still is. Chris Board still is. But the one, here's one, Mike Hughes we walk in. And Mike Hughes um, has really been solid for the Falcons. And good to see that, like Mike Hughes. Jeff Okuda. Okay, here's the one. We trade Jeff Okuda for a fifth-round pick. And I, the title of this video was, you know, the Detroit Lions got this trade right kind of and here's why Jeff Okuda's you you always attribute him to that third pick overall so in that if is he a third pick overall no no not even close now with that said is he still just a productive standard issued corner yes and I did a video about this a couple days ago about how Jerry Jacobs has exited and his exit has really been great for the defense because we've brought in just more of a traditional corner to play the position and the defense is really thriving so it would be nice to have jerry it would be nice to have jeff okuda um 
as weird as that is to say, it just would be nice to have Okuda. But again, he's always got that tag of that third overall pick. And it's like, that's just not him. Uh, you know, he's not that good. So I don't know if that, that ever leaves him. And then we'd have to constantly be wondering about that and talking about that. And every time he made a mistake, but it would be nice to have a traditional corner to go alongside Jerry Jacobs. We didn't know Emmanuel Mosley would be hurt. So that, that really stings. But overall, it's like, that's fine. But Jeff Okuda would have liked to have you. Starling Thomas, remember him? He's he's doing well. He's had some starts with the Cardinals. Awesome. So overall, nothing nothing terrible, nothing out, you know, that that's like, oh my gosh. But the the DeAndre Swift is is the one that's like, hmm, because we got a fifth round or fourth round pick in two more years or something like that. Something crazy. So it's kind of I don't know. It's just it's fine. It just pains to see me see him healthy i don't mean that that sounds terrible but it, you know what i'm saying where it's like that dude's healthy what the heck man you couldn't stay healthy at all when you were with us now you're healthy so let me know your thoughts in the comments on this one i think the lions um are in great shape this weekend against the minnesota vikings i mean come on it's a third string quarterback playing for the flame for the i mean come on guys like this is what you this is what you dream of it's if i would have told you hey you got a chance to win the division against a third string quarterback within the division let's get her done because i don't even want to get to the dallas game and then back home to the vikings game to i don't care if we back in i don't care if we win in i don't care what happens let's just win the division home playoff game see how the rest of the playoff picture unfolds and let it go so let me know your thoughts in the comments and we'll see all of you on the next one